So as long as we're here, may as well show what happens if you choose the wrong painting. First we'll choose the painting of the woman. If you cut this one open, nothing really happens. You just get a blank spot in the wall. No harm, no foul. If you open the painting of the tree, however, this time you have to deal with swarms, and quite a few of them, too. I think about six of them. So, yeah, that's a really bad painting to choose. Of course, nothing really happens until you cut open the painting of the men and claim the tree plate. This is the only thing that'll make the schism open the gate for you so that you can progress. So for those wondering, the scene here with Alex talking with his father, it doesn't change whatsoever if you don't forgive him. It's the exact same lines, the exact same delivery, no difference whatsoever. Someone did, however, point out that you can examine the body, and Alex will say something about it. Dad's remains. That's pretty much all he has to say on the subject. However, as long as we're here, there is one more thing in the area I do want to show. And that's all the way down here. This whole area still seems kind of weird to me. I mean, it's not like you really have to go out of your way to get the mining outfit to get past the steam. And it's not like the disguise of it really does you any good, either. So anyway, here's the silly thing. As you go through the steam, it doesn't instantly kill you, it just steadily drains your health. So you might be thinking, well, what happens if I just tank it? I have plenty of health items, after all. We'll make sure I'm completely topped off. But as soon as you get to the end, it just kills you outright anyway. They put the mining outfit in that cutscene, they expect you to have it. So now onto some more painful failed events. This one just constantly drains your health, so let it go on too long and it will just kill you outright. Face of evil there, Judge Holloway. You wear it well. So anyway, let's try this again and get through at least the first part of this torture. I can't imagine failing the second part of it's going to go any better. Just a word of note here, though. As tempting as it can be to just go ahead and start mashing the start button to get right back to the action and skip this cutscene, you want to give it at least a little bit. If you skip it too early, the game will freeze. I found this out through annoying experience. You want to wait until you've at least seen Judge Holloway. Right about now. At that point, you should be safe to skip. So we're going to get through this part just fine. And now suddenly we're going to forget how to mash buttons. I'm not comfortable with where that's pointing. Ow! Yeah, right in the eye. Uh. So, yeah. Don't let this happen to you. Get through the torture and you can examine the body for some choice words about her. Judge Holloway lied to us all. I'm glad she's dead. No! 
So now for L. Like I said, you have to kind of move quickly in order to get past the obstacles and get in there and save her. If you take too long, you do get a non-standard game over. The thing is, you pretty much really have to be trying for it. You really have to take your time for this. If you look through the window, you can see him in there with her. But he won't just sit there forever. Although in trying to get this scene to play, it can kind of seem like he takes quite a while. But considering the stuff you have to get over and push out of the way and pry open, it's kind of a good thing he does take a while to do this. But for demonstration purposes, it is a bit of a wait. So yeah, very gruesome, but thankfully you have plenty of time to ensure that does not happen. So for those wondering, Alex doesn't seem to have anything to say about Curtis if you try and go and examine his body. However, there was a book here in the torture room that I forgot to read during the LP. It's an instance of something that I remembered to read during a failed recording take. Thank you, technical difficulties. But anyway, I forgot about it for the actual LP, so here we go. It looks like a doctrine describing their faith. It reads, Every child born of the flesh bears the filth of the flesh that created it. The lives of the unpure are steeped in filth, and their deeds and words spread filth through the world. Even death is not enough to cleanse generations of this filth from the flesh. The only way to ensure these poor souls can live pure lives is to cleanse the flesh from their bodies. Charming. And so with that, once again we've defeated Amnion, and all that's left is to get our second ending. In fighting Amnion, I didn't notice any quick time events come up, so I can't verify for sure, but I haven't seen anything pointing to there being an instant death attack from Amnion. If anyone can fill me in on that, though, please let me know. Also, to people who ask why I didn't use the shotgun against Amnion, I tried it this time. It honestly doesn't seem all that effective. All it seems to do is get Amnion ticked off. No matter which ending you get, these scenes remain the same. So, just to review for this particular ending, we showed mercy to our mother, but did not forgive our father. What you do with Wheeler for this ending, it actually doesn't matter, but for the record, I did go ahead and save him, because, I mean, Wheeler, he's awesome! sacrifice will save us all. Joshua will be safe to carry on the family name. Okay then. So with that, we unlock the Order Soldier Alex costume. We'll show that in a moment. Go ahead and save our game here.
So we got the achievement in water. Fitting. We achieved ending too. So, rather odd ending, that one. How is Adam still alive? How is Joshua still alive? What did that even signify? So, yeah, I'm highly confused by that ending. Just very bizarre. You can't actually skip this scene. Since we found all the photos again, yeah, it goes ahead and plays out. But, yeah, I really don't know what to make of that ending. For me, that's probably the most unsatisfying ending. It's just really, really weird. There's not much about it that particularly makes sense, other than Adam is sacrificing Alex in the water as he's supposed to. But how that correlates with everything else to happen everything else that happened over the course of the game i really don't know i just don't get that but anyway that's two endings out of the five for this game so we'll go ahead and show the new costume here it's not really too hard to guess what it looks like Yes, we get Order Soldier Alex, where he's wearing a mining outfit. And once you get done with the church, you have to put on a mining outfit over your mining outfit. Yeah. So anyway, with that, that's all I can really show for now. I will be showing the other three endings, but for that, I pretty much have to play back through the entirety of the game again, so videos for now are going to be a bit on the sparse side, so just bear with me. Also, the next major thing I'm going to be working on is the monster analysis video, so that should be coming soon. I'm also going to be showing, like I did with this, some different things that can happen during the earlier part of the game. Uh, I'm also going to be playing through on hard mode, because that also is an achievement I have yet to unlock on here. So, with that, thank you very much for watching. I hope you're enjoying the series so far, and I shall see you again next time. Until then, fare thee well.